Finally, we have some really big news about an app that's central to the Mac experience, Safari. We built Safari from the very beginning to provide the best browsing experience on Mac, and it continues to blow the competition out of the water. Safari is the world's fastest browser. It makes navigating even the most complex websites lightning fast. And Safari is known for its legendary power efficiency. On an M1 MacBook Pro, Safari users can get up to 17 hours of browsing. And of course, Safari sets the bar for user privacy on the web with features like privacy report and intelligent tracking prevention. Our users are doing more in the browser than ever before. Work, school, shopping, entertainment. And that often leaves them with a lot of tabs, windows, and other distractions. We think using the browser should feel natural and uncluttered. So we've reimagined the browsing experience. We distilled the toolbar to its essential elements. Tabs are more compact, modern, and lightweight. And there's a completely new way to use tabs with tab groups. They allow you to easily save and manage your tabs without cluttering up your tab bar. I'll hand it to Beth to show it in action. Thanks, Craig. Let's start with Safari's gorgeous new tab design. All of my tabs are right here in the new streamlined tab bar. One of the really cool things that we did this year is we built the search field right into the active tab. Safari is more space efficient than ever, and I can see more of the page. I can click on the active tab to see the page's full address, and then I can search right from here. Reader is in the tab bar whenever I need it, and everything else is right here in the More menu. Check this out. As I switch tabs, the tab bar takes on the color of the site that I'm viewing, so it feels like a part of the page. It looks beautiful. Next, I'm so excited to tell you about tab groups. Tab groups are an easy and lightweight way to save your tabs and pick them back up later. I'll open the new redesigned sidebar, and I have a few tab groups here already. Each of these groups is a whole set of tabs. I use them for meal planning, for news, and for gift shopping. Here in my open tabs, I'm planning a road trip to Los Angeles, and I'm not done with my research yet. I can save these into a tab group and come back to it later. I'll click the new tab group button and call this Trip to LA. What's so powerful about tab groups is that they're on all my devices. I've got my MacBook here, and look, my new tab group is here already. As I make changes to my tab groups, they update everywhere. I'm gonna open a bunch of tabs, and my iMac just keeps up. And if I change my current tab, my tab group is always up to date and I never miss a thing. I can't wait to share these trip ideas with my family. And I can just drag this tab group into an email and send it off. Once you start using tab groups, we know you're gonna to wanna to get to them all the time. So we made it super easy to switch from right here in the tab bar. That's the new Safari on Mac. We didn't stop there though. Back to Craig to tell you more. Thanks, Beth. When we were designing the new tab experience, we wanted to build something that worked consistently when you switch from your Mac to your iPhone or iPad. On iPad, the new tabs and tab bar work just like they do on Mac. Tab groups are especially helpful on iPad and the instant syncing means you can continue a project from anywhere. On iPhone, we've done something really special. We took all the thinking that went into Mac and iPad and pushed the envelope even further. For this smaller screen size, we're introducing something that's easier to reach and maximizes the page on screen. The new tab bar appears with just a tap, and it's directly under your thumb. And when you scroll, the bar moves seamlessly out of the way. It's now easier and more natural to access your other tabs, too. You can just swipe over the tab bar to move quickly between them, or swipe up the tab bar to reveal a brand new grid view of all your tabs, plus your tab groups. When you get to the end of your tabs, you can swipe again to open a new one. And the new customizable start page syncs with Mac so you have the same Safari experience everywhere. There's one last feature that we're really excited to share. Extensions. Mac users love to deeply customize Safari with extensions like Grammarly, Honey, and Momentum. And now we're bringing web extensions to iPhone and iPad. Just like on Mac, you choose what websites you want extensions to be active on, and developers can easily tap into an entirely new audience because these extensions can share code with existing Safari web extensions. This is a huge year for Safari. 
A totally new tab design and tab groups simplify your browsing. And Safari is more customizable than ever with the new start page and extensions on iOS and iPadOS.